Frontier Customs here, and today I'll be entering the Reborn Customs contest. This contest was about your own design of a certain character, so today I'll be entering in my custom LEGO Carnage and my custom LEGO Orc minifigures. These were entirely my own design. I gave myself a couple of guidelines and just based them off of some reference pictures, but most of the product was my idea. So I'll be starting off with my custom LEGO Orc minifigure. So the Orc minifigure was entirely my design, like I said before. It is based off of a couple of reference pictures, but I gave it own uniqueness to the minifigure. The original minifigure was one of those minifigures you could collect in those Knights vs. Skeleton sets, and I used that as a body. The arms and legs were all the flesh tone of the orc, and I sculpted on various details like the arm bracelets and then the leather boots, which are not my design, which I used the reference pictures to make. But the sword was entirely my design. I used Mephiston Red, which is a citadel paint, and also I painted it my own gunmetal, and then the Mephisto Red was painted on to have a blood effect. I was deciding whether or not I should have this guy war affected, which is a cool dry brush technique or weathering effect, but I decided not to because then it would mess up the hair, which I sculpted it on, which, was which is like a ponytail, but I gave it its own uniqueness because no orc I saw in the reference pictures had this type of hair. The leather belt and the cloth in the middle right here were not my design, but the chain on the front was. I used a charm bracelet and I glued it onto the torso to give it the full effect of a orc from medieval times. So now let's get on to our carnage figure. So this carnage figure was fully sculpted by me. I Once again, I used some guidelines just to give me an example, but overall, this was fully my design. The four tentacles on the back were my design. The hands were my design. The Lego piece that I glued on and sculpted green stuff on to give it more flesh tone was also my design. The front of the torso was not my design to begin with. I sculpted it on for Scarlet Spider, but I decided to make this Carnage better because he's one of my favorite characters. And the head was nothing compared to the comic book version, so that was my design. So this guy was one of the best designs that I've made out of my own creativity. And it's fully posable, except for the head is a little stiff just because there's paint piling up in there. Because I accidentally painted the stick that you have to put the head on, and then the paint started piling up in there once I had to shove it on. So it's a little stiff. But overall, this figure turned out great. So that's pretty much it for this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Be sure to check out my main second channel, Raptor Updates and Extras. And thanks for watching. Thanks, Reborn. I'll leave a link in the description below to his channel. And be sure to enter into his contest. It's still up and running. I don't know how many people are entered into the contest. But be sure to get your entries in. Thank you guys for watching and have a nice day. <laughs>